Hey guys! <laughs> I know you must be thinking like, what is going on with her hair? And why is this place so dark? And why am I here again? Because I told you guys I'll be back every single Sunday. I'm dropping a video every single what? Sunday! So, what's this video going to be about? Is it another flashback? Is it another story time? Well, that's the same thing, but yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> am I going to do a cooking challenge? Like, what's going to happen? Firstly, before I start this video, I need to show you guys this because I just got this yesterday and I'm feeling a bit gassed, so let me turn it on. Sorry. Hey, what, what, what's that? Look at this. This got settings as well. Look, this is the, the yeah. So now you can see me a bit more. There's that one was a bit bright. Making a girl look yellow in that. Oh, okay. I don't know what settings you guys might want to see me on, you know. This look good. I like the way my skin looks. So, I might just turn this one up a little bit and keep it like that. Yeah, so. I don't know what setting this is, but this ring mirror. Let me show you which one's up you sponsor me you guys need to sponsor me because you see how i'm putting your your light i'm using your light and i'm i'm bringing your package to so you people can see what i'm using so you need to hook me up i actually paid for this well i didn't pay for this this was a present this was gift, gifted to me but that person actually really paid for this so yeah sponsor me Maybe you can hook me up with some speakers or, um, I don't know, a camera or something. So, yeah, this is what I'm using now. So, this is why our light is like this. But the outside is getting lighter, so I think I might make this one a bit more lighter. Yeah. So, yeah, guys, tell me if you like the lighting. You know, I'm trying every day to be like, one of these professional YouTube slash bloggers slash inspirational people. I'm trying. I'm trying one day at a time. So, you know, tell me if you like the lighting. Or is there a specific shade of light that I'm meant to have? I don't know. But this is what I've got. So, yeah. We're going to do what we got to do. Yeah, so this is that. Throw that back away. So, the reason why I bring you guys here, and the reason why I'm looking like this in front of the camera, is because I'm going to do a hair um, video. I'm going to show you how, like a different style, a few different styles that you can do with your own natural hair. So, I washed my hair, I can deep conditioned it. And then I rinsed out the conditioner and I just two strands twist my hair. That's what I did. I just two strand twisted it. So I left this in for like two, three days, like for it to proper dry, dry. And then um, I've just been wearing like my silk scarf over it. So today, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to show you some hairstyles that I can do with this, you know with this with this so let's get started so first thing you, the first the first thing you need to do is put some oil on your fingers because we're gonna undo it so let's get some oil sponsor me guys you need to sponsor me this is almost done so you should sponsor me by the time this is finished i don't know Maybe you should, but I use this almond oil. It's got a little bit of coconut oil and um, rice. Is it rice in there? Yeah, so it's almond oil main ingredient. So I'm gonna put a little bit of this in my fingers and rub it all over my head, 
all over my head. All over my head. Rub it all over my head. <laughs> okay, so it's me just rubbing it all over my head. Sorry about them noises. I don't know. Maybe you should turn your your volume <laughs> your volume a bit lower because I'm a bit loud. So yeah. Okay guys. Oh my nail. Okay, I just broke that off. As you can see, you see what I'm doing for you guys. I'm breaking nails just to make videos, content for you. For who? You love it. See, I'm gonna put that there. Okay, so we've done that now. We've put the oil, so you can use different type of oils. You can use um, almond oil, coconut oil, Moroccan oil, um, black castor oil. You can use um, shea butter, melt that up. It becomes a what? A oil. You can use. <laughs> You can use, um, there's so many different oils that you can use what are meant to be really good for your hair to help it grow. So any of these that I've mentioned, <laughs> try it. Let me know if it works for you. Maybe um, one oil might be too heavy. For me, black castor oil is way too heavy for my hair. If I use that, it just like weighs it down and makes it my hair feel really, really sticky. But if I use like, um almond oil is quite light like moroccan oil is quite light as well but um yeah whatever floats your boat whatever oil we're getting too deep into this oil thing so now you're going to get the hair and you're going to twist it the other way that you've um twisted it in so you see how quick that just let out and look at this curl ladies and gentlemen <laughs> look at this curl I like to thank my mama and my daddy. Without them, this would not be possible. And God. So, just to let you guys know, yeah, the sections that I did are quite like medium to small. You see my colors. You see my curl, <clears throat> you see my curls. Do you see my curls? Do you see my curls? Yeah, so the bigger the section that you take is the bigger the curl. The smaller the section you take is the smaller the curl. So I like to do like medium to small because my hair's quite fine anyways. So if you have Afro hair, then maybe you will take bigger sections depending on what kind of style you wanna, what, what the size of the curl that you wanna end up with yeah so carry on like this section was like a really big section he said these curls are going to be a bit more bigger and curlier so take it out quite slow don't like rush it take your time yeah take time you see i'm taking my time and letting it out slowly yeah this is what you have to do Okay, let me show you this one. Guys, so you see how big that curl pattern is? It's more bigger. Yeah. To compare to this one. Yeah. So it's all about sectioning. I feel so free. I feel free. <laughs> Woo. Okay. Keep going. Just keep going. Just keep going. Just keep going. snapback is serious you see how the snapback is serious that's how you know you've got healthy hair 
you see when you if you have curly hair and when you wet it it doesn't snap back yeah you don't have that spring then you've damaged your hair see this hair you see that you see this and it just jumps back up you see this is how you know this hair is healthy there's no heat damage on it you see me because it springs back up what what are you telling me what what are you telling me listen to the information i'm telling you if you wet your hair and the curls don't jump back your hair is damaged you need to cut off the straight bits and the frizzy bits because it's damaged what is it damage. okay so you said it for me so um going on to this bit i'd like to take my time with it because this is right at the front of my head and you can see i did it for last okay so that's out so usually i would wear my hair curly like this anyways and i just lay my baby edges um when you take your hair out what do you need after this what's the next stage you need this this is a wide tooth comb why do we need this are we going to comb out our curls no we're not going to comb our curls we're going to comb the scalp and then lift it up like that that's what we're going to do we're just going to we're creating more volume and where the curls are tight here we're just kind of stretching them out a little bit just to make more length but it's easier if you put your head down and then do it. So that's what I'm gonna do now for you guys. That you flick it back up. Woo! You see the volume of my hair already? Yes, guys. Yes! Yeah! It's all of that. Okay, so I like to have my little curly fringe on this side. This is my parting. If you see me around on road, you will see my hairstyle like this. This is one of my favorite hairstyles, my little curly afro. So, you know, let me do my edges so this can be a proper hairstyle. So, sponsor me. This is the edge control that I'm going to be using. I don't usually use this one. Usually I use, I'll, when that person sponsors me, I'll tell you what I usually use. But I use this one for like braiding when I'm doing braids on other people like um box braids um knotless braids um faux locks even just any kind of braids like sometimes uh, some people use the red one some people use the blue one i use any color because i feel like the product is the same they've just changed the color of it just to make you guys feel excited maybe if the person's using blonde hair then maybe the color might make a difference because you do see a bit of the residue the residue on it in the braids if you use too much so keep that in mind you know guys keep that one in your keep that in your mind so i'm just gonna take a little bit because we only need a little you see that that's on one finger you put it on the back of your hand i don't know why but i'm talking an american accent um take it see my part in you see my part in flat like that yeah so i'm gonna keep it that there just add a few trickles down here just like that lovely jubbly see add some more yeah make sure that's nice and yeah yeah so i'm gonna take this like a normal tail comb, black tail comb, it doesn't have to be a uh, rat tail comb. Normal red tail comb, it doesn't have to be red, the colour doesn't make a difference. Like I said, just take a cock tail comb, brush this down like that. Told you my hair is thin, so I need to make sure that um it's all covered. Don't want like bull patches looking in my head like no thank you. Not that I have bull patches, but it's just at the front of my hair is quite light. So, um, I'm going to use my finger to hold it and then push that bit there. And the, the remainder of the hair, I'm going to bring it down. And then use my finger to kind of just 
push this down like that. Don't know if you saw that, but that's what I did. So we're gonna do the same on the other side. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. I've still got a little bit left. So this is more than enough to do the front of my head. So put this on the baby hairs like this. So this style is only good if you do, this will be called like a twist out if you go to a hair salon and then they're like, oh, um, if you say you want a curly afro, they might try and sew a weave in your head or do some crochet. But if you have your own hair and you, you want to redo this hairstyle in a salon and you want to go in and you just tell them that you want a twist leave out. Oh. Ooh. 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 Just did it like that. There you go. So as you can see, you see, nice curls, volume, edges on wet. What edges are laid? You know, just out here looking cute. And if sometimes um, your fringe is too long. Because sometimes my fringe gets in my face and I want it to kind of stay in a certain way. I just get this. I just get this. A bobby pin. I don't know if you can see it. This is what I use. And I will just pop this like that on my head. And done. Yes. Shake it and go. You see me? I like like that so yeah this is one of my hairstyles i'll usually wear this to work um i wear this hairstyle everywhere not even to work i wear it to go and see clients i wear it on interviews um do i wear it clubbing no I, I, i've not worn this out clubbing before but if you see me on a normal day this is how my hair will be so guys if you want to see more natural hairstyles you know what to do like share subscribe and comment below thank you